In this video we'll look at a simple height safety kit that will allow you to stay compliant when working at height. If you need more information, site visits, information on training, please contact us at Surtex. Hi, today we're going to talk about the Powertex scaffolding kit. It's a kit ideally suited for the scaffolding industry with a full rest two point harness and shock absorbing lanyard. The harness is a two point harness with a front and rear fall rest attachment point. The harness has an extension. We can use the extension when working with fall arrest or fall arrest and recovery blocks as an extension for the user to attach more easily. The harness has adjustment in the shoulders and in the legs. The leg buckle is a quick buckle, so it's very quick and easy to operate. Nice and secure when clicked shut. We can adjust the webbing slack in, take web back to adjust and make sure the harness will fit correctly. The harness has adjustment on the shoulders and on the legs so we can achieve a good and secure fit on the person. The harness has its ID label behind this logo. On the label we have all the relevant information. The first label is a blank label so you can record a user's name or a company name as you might require. Second label has all the relevant information for the product, your ID number, serial number, date of manufacture and other information you may need. And additional information on compatible lanyards and user weights. And all of that is kept securely behind this cover so it's clean and safe and you can read it at all times. In addition to the harness we have the fall arrest lanyards. These are twin fall arrest lanyards so we have two legs fitted with double action aluminium scaffold hooks. The hooks are designed to go around scaffolding tube or diameter of that size. It's a shock absorbing lanyard so we have an absorber pack. The absorber pack has the same logo on it with additional information on the use of lanyards and falling distances and the product label is also under the heat shrink with our part numbers, date of manufacture and product reference codes. Fitted to the shock absorber is the connector to fasten the lanyards to the harness. This is a triple action twist lock connector, very secure way of fastening it to the harness. You push, twist and then pull back and as soon as we let go it will snap shut and a triple action is a very secure way of keeping the lanyard attached to the harness. All of the products are always supplied with their user instructions. We have specific instructions that are general instruction for use. These must be read and understood by everyone who's going to use the equipment and then you should keep them for your records. Along with the kit we have a bag for keeping the kit clean, safe, secure and for transporting safely. And now we can have a look at the kit in practice. And before we use any harness and lanyard, it's important that we always give it a good, thorough, visual and tactile examination to make sure it's fit and safe to be used. If you have any questions about whether your harness is fit for use, go and seek the advice of your competent person. Two-point harness with the extension on the rear for use with fall arrest recovery blocks. Swing the harness on. Chest through our attachment point. Back. Quick buckle just snaps shut. Legs we can undo, simply pass them around and they also snap shut. To adjust the harness we have adjustment in the shoulders and in the legs. Shoulders nice and tight so it's just the flat of the hand through and readjust my legs. Again spare webbing can be tidied away with the web tidies. On the harness we have a front and rear attachment and we have a choice of where we can wear our fall arrest lanyards. We can take our triple action aluminium twist lock carabiner into the rear. We can wear it on the front as well. It's a personal choice and we now have lanyards ready for use. Now we're in the scaffold it's important to remain attached at all times. Large aluminium scaffold hooks, double action, can go straight over scaffolding tubes, give us a secure anchor point. 
Remaining attached at all times is important. Keeping our anchor points as high as possible means that our full factor is smaller, but we can also reduce the length of the lanyard further. This changes our position to a restraint rather than fall arrest. Anchor points can be a different rated load and our working position is safer.